first motor vlog of 2017. Sorry I took so long, this is the first time I've had an opportunity to get on the bike because the weather, well it's been a really cold winter and uh, it's only now starting to brighten up. So yeah, really looking forward to this year. I'm going to start off with a bit of a random motor vlog, a few annoyances. I'm loving this bike though, I took this out. I've taken this out the last four days running just to try and get used to it, learn on it, get a little bit quicker on it and uh, today I'm using it for a little bit of sort of community work so I hope you guys have been as pissed off this winter as I have I'm not the only one I'm sure it's been fucking awful waiting for the better weather and I think the next week's gonna rain so it's really gonna, gonna be shit I'm changing jobs next week so I've got a week off and I'm hoping that the weather's going to be better for me because this is going to be my mode of transport because the company vehicle's going back until I get my new one so we'll probably do some vlogs in the meantime because I'll be riding the bike quite a lot regardless of the weather I think this has really pissed me off here right they're moving the traffic lights there was, there was a really good system worked fine now they've dug them all up and they're moving them and it's took them about a week so far to move some traffic lights they've only now got the digger in and look at this traffic that that's created it really pissed me off it takes me half an hour to do a 10 minute journey to get there and the thing is people go down this line here and there's no warning at the top of the line so then they all have to cut in everybody lets them in and nobody goes anywhere apart from the people who go in this lane and cheeky bastards basically so yeah it's not it's not the best it's not the best I can't believe they don't even give you warning like at the top of the road we'll sit in the traffic because it's lovely weather and I don't mind being out but yeah it's a bit of a fucking annoyance they're doing loads of this around Norwich at the minute and I think just across the UK in general they're putting a new bypass around Norwich there's just roadworks everywhere. And they're like, yeah, well, in two years' time, in 2020 or whatever, it's going to be really quick. It's going to be really nice for you to get around the city. Yeah, fine. But in the meantime, you're fucking useless at it, and we've all got to suffer every day just to do basic journeys to save ourselves five minutes in two years' time. It's crap. Absolute shit. The money they must waste and winds me up. Thank God for these heated grips this time of year. Just actually like 15 degrees out here today, centigrade. And um, warmest day of the year so far. It's not so bad. But yeah, the money they must waste on these fucking roadworks jobs. It's just incredible, I mean. That's been shut for a week, all that tools, diggers, people, and they've not done a thing. And that's going on all the way across this region, this country. They do all these cuts and that, and then just waste money on shit. There's a good one up there, actually, I'll show you. You'll like this one. Fuel lights on, I'll tell you, this bike drinks fuel. I've put about 20 quid in this over the last few days. Mind you, I'm driving it nicely. This here, this road used to go straight through there. But they've put this hump in the road for cyclists. For fucking cyclists. But how much must that cost? Fucking ridiculous. And that was shut for God knows how long as well. I don't know who comes up with these ideas. Fucking mental, I should think. I wouldn't want them budgeting my weekly shopping, that's for sure. There's a fuel station there, but we're not going to stop there because of shit. It's right on a roundabout and it's always busy as fuck. And I want to put some air in the tyre. And they charge for Sainsbury's down, so we'll be going there in a bit. So fuck you Tesco's, because you charge for your air 
now you lose out on the fuel. I've actually got a puncher. Brand new bike and I've got a puncher in my back tyre. Tiny little nail, it's a slow puncher, but every time it goes down it makes the bike ride like absolute shit. really pissed me off because I don't know what tyre to get on it, whether to go for the tyre that this bike's supposed to have, the Pirelli Diablo Corsa, which I've not really got used to yet, I've not had a chance to use it, or to go back to the Michelin Pilot Power 2CT, which I know I like, but I've not used it obviously on this bike, I had it on my GSXR. So I don't really know what direction to go in. Obviously if I go the Michelins I want to change the front as well. I have a whole new set. Whereas if I just change the back on this, I've probably got a fair few thousand miles out of that front tyre left. So if you guys know whether I should keep the Pirellis on here, let me know in the comments.